I'm ready. It's going to be loud. Let me know if you guys can hear that. Hello to everyone. I'm Tatsumi Kimishima from Nintendo. Thank you very much to all of you who have joined us here today. And thank you to everyone viewing the presentation live online. Many people around the world watched the Nintendo Switch video we released in October of last year and reacted quite positively to it. This video introduced the Nintendo Switch console, Nintendo Switch dock, Joy-Con grip, and two Joy-Con controllers, as well as the Pro Controller. Nintendo Switch is a console that can be played while connected to your television, but it is also a system you can bring with you to share the fun wherever you go. Nintendo Switch is a brand new kind of home gaming system that offers a wide diversity of play styles. I'm just listening In right now. In today's presentation, we intend to provide a detailed introduction to the Nintendo Switch hardware and software. They're so proper. <laughs> I'd like to begin by introducing the Nintendo Switch launch date suggested retail price and online services oh boy nintendo switch come on mario simultaneously on march 3rd 2017 in japan the us canada major european countries hong kong and other territories okay that's cool this is the suggested retail price for nintendo switch in japan it will be 29,980 yen. In North America, it will be $299.99. Okay. For the price in Europe, please check with your local retailer. Okay. <laughs> please check with your local retail. Next, I have Two, information 299 that's good. 300 services. They didn't with say Nintendo if it came Switch, with anything, but... You will, of course, be able to enjoy online multiplayer gaming. And when you use a smart device application that will connect to Nintendo Switch, you will be able to invite friends to play online, set play appointments, and chat with friends while enjoying online matches and compatible games, all from your smart device. Users will be able to try out Nintendo Switch online services for free, during a trial period after launch. Oh yeah, I heard then about that. It will become a paid service beginning in the fall of 2017. We will provide additional details on paid, paid service, service confirmed features on our homepage at a later date. And I have an additional piece of information. Paid service confirmed. Like Nintendo 3DS and Wii U, we designed them using region locking which limited play to software sold in the same region that the hardware was purchased. But with Nintendo Switch, we have revised our approach and decided that in general, we will not apply region locking to Nintendo Switch software. Here, I would like to switch region locking. over to okay. the That's cool. for all okay. software development for Nintendo Switch and mobile This reaction is this, um, I'm just listening. I've been waiting for this. Okay. Oh. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Shinya Takahashi, and I lead all Nintendo software development. Nintendo Switch has inherited DNA from each 
of the many hardware systems Nintendo has released to date. The Nintendo Entertainment System included two controllers in the base system. Game Boy made it possible to bring video games out of the home. Super NES added the X and Y buttons and the L and R buttons to enhance the fun. Nintendo 64 offered the world's first analog nice control pants. stick. Nice pants. And it introduced a rumbling controller with the development of the rumble pack. We put a handle on Nintendo GameCube so it could be carried around. Even at that time, we were considering a home game system that you could take with you, but it seems we were a little too soon. Nintendo DS added a touch screen. With the Wii Remote, motion control became possible. And the Wii U gamepad enabled you to play games off the TV. And now, Nintendo Switch has inherited all of Nintendo's entertainment DNA, and we have packed each and every one of these features into the system. Nintendo is constantly pursuing new forms of entertainment to bring more fun and more smiles to so the So they just confirmed all the, the games are going to come to this from the past. 2017 is Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch is a video game system for the home. You connect it to the TV to play games. I feel like they're doing this because they don't want to make the same mistake they did with the Wii U. They're giving us step by step right now so they can know, so you know that I know that it's not. It is a new console. Nintendo Switch, Nintendo Switch has been designed to be a home console gaming system that gives you the freedom to change your playstyle. Next, allow me to introduce the playstyles Nintendo Switch will offer. TV mode. TV mode. Play games on the TV in Mario Kart. video game style. Table mode. Tabletop mode. Stand the Nintendo Switch console up with its kickstand and play using the Joy-Con. You can now play video games in front of a screen with others, wherever you like, even away from the TV. Okay. Handheld mode. We know this. Attach the left and right Joy-Con to the system. You can take it with you and play indoors, outdoors, cool, or cool. anywhere you like. And what do you think of handing a Joy-Con to a friend or family member and sharing the joy right then and there? Battery life will vary by game, but it will range from two and a half hours to six and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Oh my god. And you will be able to play while charging the system using the included AC adapter and the USB certified portable batteries. The screen uses a capacitive touch panel. You can connect over Wi Fi for touch. multiplayer battles. And up to eight Nintendo Switch systems can be connected for local wireless multiplayer gaming. What do you think? With its three play styles, Nintendo Switch evolves gameplay, oh, no. okay. making it more active and offering greater oh freedom of play. <laughs> okay, guys. And what makes this possible? Okay. Joy-Con controllers. To tell you more Let's see what the, the let me see these. Let me see. The Joy-Con will enable and to tell you about Nintendo Switch software, I'd like to switch things over to general development producer Yoshiaki Koizumi. Thank you very much. Hello everyone. 
I am Nintendo Switch general development producer Yoshiaki Koizumi. It's great to be <laughs> guys are making me laugh. I'm just trying to listen. <laughs> Controllers are very important when it comes to video games, right? And I suspect all of you are wondering what the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con. Uh oh, Jamie's like. talking. Allow me to introduce them to you in detail. These are the Joy-Con set in the Joy-Con grip. Oh, that looks so little. On the TV. Now, let me remove the Joy-Con. Dude, if he dabs right now, I'll lose it. <laughs> Do the dab. Dab. These are the Joy-Con. Remember, if they announce Super Mario Maker Switch, I'll dab on stream. There is a left and a right Joy-Con. Each Joy-Con has an analog stick. And each stick can also be pressed <sighs> like a button. Oh. This Joy-Con has the familiar A, B, X, Y buttons. And beneath them is the home button. It's this house-shaped mark. There is an NFC reader writer. <laughs> that can read and write amiibo data as well. <laughs> and please look at the square button on this Joy-Con. This is the capture button for capturing screenshots of your game. You guys are making me laugh too much. In the future, it will be able to capture video as well. You will be able to share the screens you capture with friends over social media. And each Joy-Con includes accelerometer and gyro sensors, making independent left and right motion control like this possible. And take a look right here. There are two buttons in the Look rail. how tiny it is! Look how tiny it is! These are L and I'm R a buttons. big man, Nintendo. A big, big man. Because of I can't design, use those. Joy Con can be used <laughs> as a fully functioning individual controller. You can hand a Joy Con to the person next to you in many two player games. We call this sharing the joy. So, Nintendo Switch <laughs> comes with two controllers right from the start. Oh, no. And when you play with these Joy-Con, they fit in the palm of your hand, just right, like this. And they feel very natural. For example, pardon me, you can release the tension from your shoulders and relax while you play. Oh, That's yeah. That's all for my Joy-Con introduction. <laughs> But, we still have many things to share about the Joy-Con. We have prepared Joy-Con color variations. Neon blue and neon red. Yahoo! And this is the Joy-Con strap. It is a wrist strap you can slide strap. off the rail like this. They have to introduce the strap. You cannot do it. For firm pressing. It's great for games that have you swinging your hands, attaching to your wrist so you won't drop it. And it makes the Joy-Con easier to grip. Oh, we're going back. We're going back in time. Nintendo Wii. With your Nintendo Wii Switch Sports. System, but there will also be other colors sold separately. The right Joy-Con also has a motion IR camera that can sense the shape, motion, and distance of objects in front of it. It's right here. For example, it can tell the difference between rock, paper, and scissors. And it can tell how far away the hand that threw it is. This will make unique new control styles possible. What's this? It feels like something shaking in a glass.
the Joy-Con can convey to you the feeling of ice cubes colliding in a cup. You can even tell. One, two, three. The number of ice cubes in the glass. What is going on? I don't understand. And you can feel water filling the glass. Are we going to be able to drink water from this thing? <laughs> this new sense of realism is produced by the precision of the new HD rumble. Yeah, he just did it! Confirmed! <laughs> With these new sensing and vibration technologies, the Joy-Con itself boasts an expressiveness that invites the player to pick up the controller. The Joy-Con offers more than just traditional video game controls. It invites everyone to a new world of entertainment. Allow me to introduce you to two new games made possible by the Joy-Con. One that everyone can play together, and one with depth. Okay, let's see what this new game is. New game, new game, new game. Let's switch to the game everyone can play together. Wii Sports. Wii Sports 2.0. Red Dead Redemption 2. Rest in peace. <laughs> Kawamoto, the producer That's my reaction Switch. to that, by the way. I am also the general hardware director for Nintendo Switch itself. One to Switch lets you enjoy the expressiveness of the Joy-Con HD Rumble that was just introduced. But at the same time, it's a brand new kind of game. <laughs> one that mixes up new kinds of play that haven't been seen before. <laughs> <laughs> Your typical video game has you playing while looking Bring... at some kind of screen. Oh right? my gosh. What the yata, one two yata. <laughs> but one two switch can be played without looking at any screen. So then, where Come on. exactly do you look? I know they have to do this. They have to do this because right now i'm getting that feeling from uh, nintendo wii into the eyes of your opponent way back in 2006 7 whatever they're doing this you know it makes sense makes sense they move? are they just faking you look into their eyes to read their next move and then you get to see them do something unexpected in other words one two switch isn't a game you play facing a screen one two yata. <laughs> it's a game that is primarily played through face-to-face -face interaction. Uh. So you can bring Nintendo Switch to parties and after parties, indoors or outdoors, any place people gather or meet, 
You simply, one, stand Nintendo Switch up, two, grab the two Joy-Con, three, hand one to a friend. And just like that, with these three steps, the place you're in Wait. becomes the game world. Shouldn't it be called one, two, three switch then? Whatever. Let's not discuss this right now. We're creating one, two switch to be a staple for parties and to become an icebreaker for all kinds of fun communication. One, two switch features fun for everyone gameplay made possible by the Joy-Con and it releases March 3rd alongside Nintendo Switch. Please look forward to it. Thank you very much. That was 1-2 Switch, the game everyone can play together. Next, let's look at a game with depth, challenge, and replayability that uses the Joy-Con. A new gameplay experience is born. Let's switch to it. Come on, baby. I saw that nightclub thing, yeah. No Pokemon yet, Blades. They... Okay, let me finish watching this. Let me finish watching this before I say something. Kosuke Yabuki. I'm the producer of the Nintendo Switch game, ARMS. Today, ARMS. I'd like to introduce you all. ARMS. 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 Is a fighting sports game. ARMS. Extendable ARMS. ARMS. <laughs> okay, I'm staying open-minded here. Your opponent with punches, but it's also like shooting, where you aim and fire. At distant opponents. To play arms, you hold one Joy-Con in each hand in a thumbs up pose. The Joy-Con senses your motions, so when you punch, your character also punches. When you twist your fist, your punch curves. With this, you can pursue a distant enemy. You move your character by tilting the Joy-Con. And by combining dashes and jumps, you can perform a variety of actions. Because ARMS uses physical controls, anyone can pick it up and play right away. 
Pick up and play. This is what they used to say during Nintendo Wii, man. I'm telling you. Oh, wow. Now, I'd like to show you a battle between two of our team members. Oh, here we go. Here we go, baby. You hear that? <laughs> here are some of the characters who appear in the game. Spring Man and Ribbon Girl. It's a very fast and active fighting game. They're trading punches back and forth. You can guard in this game, but they're practically battling without guarding at all right now. Oh dear, Springman is on the ropes. Oh, but here's Springman with a special attack. Oh, Springman won. <laughs> As you saw, the most appealing part of arms Ribbon girl. is battling. Waifu confirmed. <laughs> you can battle alone against the computer, and you can play split screen against a friend, as you just saw. You can also bring your Nintendo Switch systems together to battle. Oh dear. Course, we're preparing online battles as well. The extendable arm fight game, ARMS, will release this spring. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, so, so it's spring. It's not even a launch title. Arms marks the emergence of Nintendo's newest characters. As you can see, mastering the Joy-Con controls can bring a new feel to even head-to-head -head fighting games that demand a high level of strategy and tactics. I hope you'll look forward to it. Next, let's switch to this. Okay, here we go. Here's something. Is it going to be a remake or is it going to be Splatoon 2? I don't know, I can't tell, is it a... Because if, if it's a port, that means there's hope for Mario Maker and Smash 4. It's two. Good afternoon, everyone. <sighs> I am the diligent researcher at the Squid Research Lab who has spent day and night researching the mysterious squid creatures that can take on human form. I've been researching a new variety of squid that was discovered recently, and today I'm here to announce the fruits of my labor. It has been about two okay, years so. since I first discovered these squid. Splatoon 2 means no switch ports. In world in that time. Turf War is their four-on-four -four team-based battles where the two teams compete to spray the ground with ink and cover the most turf. This remains a popular sport, but it appears the battle stages have changed and the fashions and weapons used have also evolved. Here, you see the latest piece of technology. This weapon set is called the Splat Dooleys. Not only do these dual-wielded weapons let you shoot ink from each hand, they also have nozzles that can propel you at a high rate of speed oh. to outmaneuver your opponents. Oh, yeah. Here's some weapon in the hands of one who has mastered it. And it appears the, the special weapons, which can be activated after spraying enough ground with ink, are all brand new. 
Surely with the introduction of new weapons, our new special weapons and new battle stages, we will see the emergence of new battle strategies. I expect our research will continue to keep us busy. Allow me to report briefly on controls. Of course, you can use the Joy-Con controllers, but you can also play using the Pro Controller. You can play on a TV screen, and you can also play in handheld mode. And of course, in either mode, you can use gyro controls to aim your ink. You press the X button to view the map. Aim your ink. And to do a super jump, aim you press the button ink. assigned to a teammate to instantly jump there. Of course, you can battle against friends and people you don't know over the internet. And you can also bring your games and Nintendo Switch systems together to battle friends face to face. That is all from the Squid Research Lab. Oh, I almost forgot something very important. Splatoon 2 is planned for launch this summer. And again, this time, there will be stage and weapon updates after launch. And there are also plans to hold ongoing in-game events. I am very excited to once again enjoy those exciting times with everyone all around the world. Splatoon 2. Okay. As many elements that we have yet to uncover. Um, Squid Research Lab will continue to share new details. Not launch title. Thank you for your time today. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. I'm gonna. This brand new version of Splatoon arrives this summer. I was never into Splatoon, so if you guys are into Splatoon, let me know how hype you are. Switch to this. Yes. It's Spider Mario. Oh. Cool. Yeah, it's like the open world. Release dates. Release date launch title. Launch title. It looks ready.
Hello, everyone. Sorry for my appearance. I am Yoshiaki Koizumi, the producer of Super Mario Odyssey. While I am the overall producer for the Nintendo Switch hardware, I simultaneously have a hand in the newest Mario game, Super Mario Odyssey. This is the first time since Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Sunshine that we have created a large Mario sandbox world like this for you to run around in. Sandbox. The theme of Mario that, that's this the time cool part. is Sandbox. turned into an unknown world, and Mario has jumped out of the Mushroom Kingdom to go on an extraordinary adventure. I said unknown, but perhaps you notice some landscapes that look familiar from the real world. <laughs> that looks cool, man. And at the end of the video, that looks cool. perhaps some of you have noticed some unusual eyes or something on Mario's cap. Oh, and right here. Right there. This mysterious cap, in particular, offers action that can only be experienced on Nintendo Switch. This cap character plays an important role in Mario's journey. I hope you'll look forward to it. In the 20 years since we made Super Mario 64, I have been on a long, long journey together with Mario. And we are working on this new journey called Nintendo Switch, with the excitement one feels when visiting unknown countries for the very first time. I'll be very happy when you can all join me in departing on this new Mario journey on Nintendo Switch. We plan to release Super Mario Odyssey in the holiday season later this year. Since the release is still a ways out, you won't be able to play the game today, so I hope to offer you a chance to try it out at another time. So please wait a little longer. Damn. Thank you very much. The end of the year. Not a launch title. <laughs> All right, let's move on. We need lunch. We need lunch. Yep. We know what it is. No release date. Fire Emblem. That's gonna be it too. That's not, that's gonna be it. Yep, that was what it. You just saw. Oh boy. Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And Koei Tecmo's latest game, Fire Emblem Warriors. Next, I'd like to introduce our third party partners. 
The Nintendo Switch concept has resonated with many developers, and there are currently over 50 companies working on games. And there are already over 80 games in development. So today, we'd like to introduce just a few of them. Square Enix. Yeah, Warriors. Have you ever played Dynasty Warriors? Dragon Quest X and Dragon Quest XI for release on Nintendo Switch in Japan. But there is another Dragon Quest game making an appearance, Dragon Quest Heroes 1 and 2 for Nintendo Switch. Now, take a look at this. Let's see what we got. What does it mean to play a role? In a vast world of adventure. The places you go. The deeds you do. The heroes whose tales you bring to life. Every road is yours to take. Project Octopath Traveler. Embark on an adventure all your own. What you just saw was the latest game in the Atlas series, Shin Megami Tensei, which celebrates its 25th anniversary this year. Development has only just begun, but they were kind enough to prepare this video for us today. Wow. And the other title, is a Another brand one that's the, the development Square just be Phoenix. <laughs> All right, it's world. Let's move on a unique graphic style and sense of scale Please look forward to additional information in the future Now let's hear from some of the developers working on new games for Nintendo switch To start let's switch over to this individual Hello everyone, I am Toshiro Nagoshi from SEGA. SEGA sees a tremendous amount of appeal in Nintendo Switch and we intend to be present on the platform. And similarly, Sega. I as an individual creator sense a new kind of appeal with this game hardware. We will, cons we will consider new games for Nintendo Switch and we'll present them soon. This new hardware is taking on new challenge and has a lot of appealing points. And I would like to uh, take advantage of this new concept and create uh, an, accept an interesting game. Thank you very much for your time today. Thank you, Nagoshi-san. Continuing on, let's switch to this person. 
Hi, I'm Todd Howard here at Bethesda Game Studios, and we're excited to announce that yes, Skyrim is coming to the Nintendo Switch. We love to make games and worlds that you can get lost in, that you can make your own, and that you never want to put down. Well, now you don't have to. Now you can play Skyrim wherever you want and take it on your own adventures. But what's really exciting is for all of us at Bethesda to finally work with Nintendo. You look at all they've done for video games over the decades. They've brought so this much This has to be a launch title. Lunch. And lunch title. The Switch is both lunch. classically Nintendo, yet something all new. And we want to thank them for letting us be a part of it. Thank you, Todd-san. Next, let's switch to this person. Yeah! Yay. Oh, that didn't go very well. Hi, everyone. I'm Sudoku. Okay, he scared me. <laughs> so, today I'd like to start. Um, I've, I've been invited to come to this event, and I'd like to talk about uh, one of the games that I worked on. Uh, do, do you all remember the one guy from Santa Destroy who was born out of a tag team between Marvelous and Grasshopper? That's right, Travis Touchdown will be making his return on Nintendo Switch. Uh, could you show the illustration, please? <laughs> so this star will be coming onto Nintendo Switch. The title hasn't been decided yet, but uh, just about a year ago, I've been going to some events, some gaming events in Japan, such as Big Sun, and I've been discussing with, exchanging ideas with uh, the indie game community. And the translator is so nervous, I think. Uh, ideas for the new Nintendo Switch console. And I've heard that it's. Uh, I've heard that it's an easier platform to create games for. Uh, oh my god, no! No! Developers. <laughs> and so that matches with what we are uh, expecting in a gaming development process. So, this one game that I'm working on right now uh, will be something that will take advantage of this uh, uh, environment that it's easy for uh, indie developers to create a game. And so, we will have a game that will have a fusion of deathmatches and strong styling, sort of heavily involved, uh, heavily influenced by pro wrestling. And I'd love to see Travis running around um, in a game for a Nintendo Switch. Thank you very much for your time today. It was Grasshopper Suda 51 signing up. Thank you, Suda. <laughs> no, God. Next, we wow. switch to this guest. It's a huge honor and privilege to be here today representing the passionate and talented team at Electronic Arts. For me, to be on this stage is like a dream come true. Electronic Arts no Jonet wa Freru, Yushu na Kai Hats team no Daihyo Toshite, Kodan Suru Koto wa Taihen Koe desu. For as long as I've played games, I've been a massive fan of the Nintendo platforms and amazing culture of creativity. So much so that when my first born son was born, my wife and I gave him the middle name Luigi. So today, we are extremely excited to announce that the world's most popular sports game 
will be coming to Nintendo Switch later this year. EA Sports FIFA on Nintendo Switch will be the most immersive, social, authentic sports game ever created for Nintendo players. Nintendo のユーザーにとっては EA Sports FIFA は Nintendo Switch 版今まで最も没入的、最もソーシャル、最も本格的なスポーツ体験になると思います。It will deliver the FIFA experience custom built for Nintendo Switch so you can play anywhere, play with anyone and play how you want to play. FIFA の体験を Switch 専用に開発して I don't want to play sports games outside Nintendo! どのプレイスタイルでも遊べるようになります。If you're at the no park, lunch. At your friend's house, or no vacation, lunch. You can always stay connected to the biggest matches. <laughs> and you'll be able to play and get on the pitch with your favorite players and teams from the world's best leagues in iconic stadiums from around the world. All with the unmatched authenticity and depth that FIFA is known for. We'll have much more to say and show in the coming months as we bring the world's game to Nintendo Switch in 2017. Thank you. どんどん情報を提供していきたいと思いますので、これからもよろしくお願いします。どうもありがとうございました。Thank you very much to Patrick and all of our guests. We are very excited for Skyrim and FIFA and are very excited to see what kind of new games Nagoshi san and Suda san create. And with that, that sentence, like Skyrim and FIFA, it just an doesn't. Ah, uh, it just. Ah. Uh. All right, Sonic. Okay. Yeah. There's always one more. There's always one more. No information. <laughs> so played. <laughs> one, two, switch. That wasn't F Zero. That was not F Zero. That was not F Zero. What did you think? As you just saw, we were preparing to offer a rich assortment of games, both from Nintendo and a number of third party partners. Today, you heard from some of these developers, but there are still many others working hard inside Nintendo to develop original game content. In addition to the franchises our fans have loved, we will also introduce the world to new forms of entertainment made possible by the unique characteristics of the Nintendo Switch hardware and the Joy-Con controllers.
Since we revealed new colors of Joy-Con during this presentation, allow me to share with you our Nintendo Switch product configurations. The Nintendo Switch system will include the Nintendo Switch console, a left and a right Joy-Con, Joy-Con wrist straps, the Joy-Con grip, the Nintendo Switch dock, an HDMI cable, and an AC adapter. The Pro Controller will also be available separately. There will be two versions. One model with gray Joy-Con controllers and another model with one neon blue and one neon red Joy-Con. Both versions will be the same suggested retail price. We have shared a great deal of information with you through this presentation and more details will be available on our Nintendo Switch homepage after this presentation ends. But first, I would like to ask Nintendo of Europe and Nintendo of America to share their messages with their fans watching around the globe. Take it away. Thank you, Mr. Kimishima. I'm Satoru Shibata of Nintendo of Europe. Good morning, everybody in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting up so early to watch. I'm so excited for you to finally know all about Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch has a very unique appeal, as you saw today. And I look forward to you all getting to try it out soon. Right now, hands-on events are being prepared where we've invited European media to play Nintendo Switch for the first time. There's only one bundle and it has no games. This can't be happening right now. I know that lots of you will be Yes, good morning everybody. That's... I'm glad we didn't have to get up at 5 in the morning. We will hold more of these events to find out when and where you can have your own experience with Nintendo Switch. Keep an eye out for announcements on our official website, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. I am sure that I will join some of the events, so I hope to see you very soon. Now I will hand you over to Reggie in New York. Thanks for watching, and happy gaming. Yay. Thanks, Shibata-san, and hi to everyone watching in the Americas. It's the midnight hour here in New York. The streets are quiet, but there's definitely something in the air. You can't see it, but the atmosphere is crackling with posts and tweets and messages all about Nintendo Switch. We're here getting ready to show off Nintendo Switch to a small group tomorrow, but you may get your own chance to play well before launch because Nintendo Switch will be on display on six separate Sundays in six different cities across North America before you can buy it in stores. You can find Find all the details on nintendo.com slash switch. But you'll have to show up early. There's no shortage of players who can't wait to test drive our new system. And the reasons are now clear. First, the wider look we've just seen at what this revolutionary form of gaming and new ways to play are all about. Second, those amazing controllers, the Joy-Con which combine all the gameplay innovations Nintendo's invented and then adds to them. But of course, the biggest buzz is reserved for the games. And man, what games? No question, there's a lot in the works. But let's be honest. <laughs> thing Did I just hear that? Game. But if you listen carefully, maybe you can hear it. Floating in the air. Yep, there it is the soundtrack for what's been far and away the most anticipated Nintendo Switch game right from the start, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So, where is it? Well, it'll be here at a special event elsewhere in New York tomorrow. But I see some sneaky Nintendo employees have been playing during this presentation. So let's go over there and see what these guys have to say for themselves. Mr. Miyamoto. Ah, hi, Lisa. You're here early. You're playing the new Legend of Zelda game. 
How do you like it? <laughs> Is there at midnight playing or what? Oh, that's great. Almost sure. Well, so many eager fans want to know the one. I just love that guy, man. When are we launching the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild? Mr. Ayanuma. Yeah. You're the producer for the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. You know everything about the game. Certainly you must know. When are we launching the game? Well, I guess that settles it. There's nothing left for me to do but to throw it back to Tokyo. And Mr. Kimishima, do you have the answer to that question? Shibata san. Just tell me that stupid Ready, date. Miyamoto san and Aonuma san, thank you very much. Uh. You've left me with a very important task, but I'll have to come back to your question in a second. The Nintendo Switch launch is just around the corner on March 3rd. Tomorrow and the next it's coming day, out on March 3rd. We'll hold a Nintendo Switch hands-on event at the big site in Tokyo. And we'll begin taking pre-order reservations at retail in Japan starting January 21st. I hope that we've shown enough to earn your support. Now, we do have one last thing to share with you today. Before we do, I would like to humbly and sincerely thank everyone here for listening and everyone around the world for tuning in. Feel strange, dude. Hello. <laughs>
覚まして。Wow. Launch. <laughs> I, uh, ah. Uh. I I don't know if it's gonna be on the Wii U. It might be delayed on Wii U. If it's a launch title on Wii U, there's no point in buying the Switch for me at this time. Not even close. Not even close. So, if the Wii U title is not coming out and it's delayed, that's going to be some BS. But they didn't mention the, the Wii U version. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should save for one or or not. Because that could go towards like three hundred dollars. That could go towards like TwitchCon or something like that. You know, like three hundred and then fifty for the controller, fifty for the game. So I have a lot of thinking. A lot of thinking to do, obviously. But as of right now. I probably won't buy it on uh, launch day. Yo, Crush, welcome. Is it? <laughs> And the feeling I got during the um, Zelda, I felt like this is the last game. This is going to be the last Zelda game that we ever play. I don't know why I got that feeling. That's a bad feeling, obviously. Yo, everybody. Yo, Richie. Yo, Johnny Boy. Like... Zelda is awesome. I, it's awesome, but but it's it's they've shown this trailer like three times already. You know, I'm ready for the game. Obviously, I don't know, man. The Zelda trailer. The Zelda has looked. I've been sold on Zelda since the first time I saw it. Though that's the thing, like.
Well, thanks for watching it with me, everybody. That was a good... I think it was the presentation, like, two hours or something? I mean, I, I, like I said before, I'll sleep, I'll sleep on it. I'll sleep on it because, like, you know, what else can I do besides that? Like, and the other thing is, are you going to be able to get one? Like, that's another issue. The Skyrim, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Everything you guys are saying, it makes total sense to me right now. Zelda is not enough. It's not enough, man. It's not enough. It's a lovely game. I've been hyped for it for almost a year. But, uh, Where is the lunch games? Where is my Mario Kart information? Where is my Metroid stuff? Where is Castlevania F-Zero? Where is the hype, man? This is a brand new console. The first look that everybody's been waiting for. And all I see is Zelda and Mario. And games from 2011. No release dates. It's, it's very... I feel weird, man. I feel like this is like the beginning of the end. But at the same time, it's still too early to call. Exactly what I came in, I was hoping I was going to say, damn, Nintendo hit the nail on the coffin. They have a lot of good launch titles. Pokemon, Zelda, Mario. Choose your game. No rush. Plenty of supply. But I'm just left with questions and I'm unsure. And that's really it. Where is Sonic Adventure 3? Where is Eternal Darkness? Uh, I don't know, man. I just... Uh... ARMS? Where is ARMS? I'll tell you where ARMS is. Release date, March 3rd. 2017 where is metroid where is rabbits rpg where is the dvd blu-ray player <laughs> where are the new ips where Where is blue? <laughs> Where is... I don't... <sighs> arms! 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 <sighs> arms! It's called arms! Why is it called arms? Let me think of the positives. They did say the virtual all every virtual console 
was going to be available. Right? They said that, right? <laughs> they said that, right? Uh... Where is Mega Man Soccer? Please, someone tell me. <laughs> Shut up, Deadly. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back and do it every, every time I get sad. I'm just gonna go back and remember the good old days. Ah, that's better. There we go. Where, where is Super Mario Bros. 3, 2? Where is Super Mario Bros. 4? Where is Super Metroid 2? <laughs> arms, arms, arms. Arms. Where is Trofez? He's gone. He's disappointed. <laughs> Trofez wanted to be a happy guy. <laughs> where are my pants? I'm wearing shorts right now. So where are my pants? I don't know. Why did the Sega guy come out? <laughs> he just set up from Sega and then he left. Right? Did I miss something? Did I miss something? Oh, uh, the paid online feature. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. It better be like four ninety nine a month or something low. How can they not have a release date for Skyrim? That just drives me nuts now. Now I'm thinking about it. How can that not be... Bam! Launch title. Bam! It's, it's there. How do... <laughs> uh, that was pretty good, Deadly, actually. <laughs> Where is my taco? <laughs> Well, at least we got a new, a new meme. I could start saying things like that. Like in Mario Maker, I'll say, where is my checkpoint? Or where is my mushroom? <laughs> where is my flagpole? Where is my, where is my healer? I can start saying that now. At least we got that out of this.
<laughs> okay. And I uh, have deadly in December, and I'm just. And I'm just. <laughs> I just hope they don't delay it. <laughs> <laughs> Arms and legs. The sequel is going to be called Legs. Uh... <laughs> nice arms. Arms for everybody. What is with that? That blue and red one, huh? That's weird. Like, <laughs> it feels like they did it last minute or something. <laughs> it's just like, there's the black version, and if you want the blue and red one, here's the blue and red. Yeah, but paid online, that's... If you're a big Splatoon fan, and you're like, Oh, sweet, Splatoon, now I gotta pay it online. Awesome. Anyways. Oh, no. Alright. I don't know. <laughs> All right, I, that's that's it. I've been live for over five hours today. I'm ready to stop. <laughs> I'm ready to stop and just rest. I I can't talk about this anymore. Thanks everybody for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me for so long. I will see you guys later. Have a good night. Have a good day. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Where, oh, where, oh, where, oh, where.